It's your boy Red here, and I'm kind of going to review Stranger Things. No spoilers. I'm not going to spoil shit for you guys if you guys haven't seen the show. But I will tell you this. Is it a good show? It's a good show. you enjoy it. Especially those guys that like to watch shit for nostalgia value. You get a lot of 80s nostalgia here, man. You get Star Wars. You get E.T. You get fucking, I don't know, man. A lot of shit. I wasn't born in the 80s, man. But <laughs> besides that, what is Stranger Things? It's about a show of kids who try to be like the Goonies, fucking fighting monsters that look like fucking aliens from the Alien movie, but they're all fighting them in a different world like Tron. There you go. That's the that's <laughs> explanation of what this show is. Nah, for real. Uh, yeah, so these kids, one of them goes missing. They're all playing D&D one day. One of them goes missing. Later we find out the secret organization that literally has a lab in their little ass, small ass town of Indiana is behind it because they opened up a tear using kids with psycho, uh, psychological, psychic powers to open up this tear to this different dimension where this creature was released and he took this kid and shit goes nuts, man. Um, that's season one for you right there. It builds up with that and I'm not tell you what happens or not, right? Um, it continues on with season two time has passed and the same formula over again that's that's the show right there for you i don't want to ruin any spoilers or anything but i will say the kids are pretty good actors i enjoyed watching these kids talk shit to people and fuck you know we do our own shit fuck adults you know nah they basically go on their own they're independent kids i mean when was the last time some kid could hang out outside all day you know, you can't do that all here nowadays. You get fucking shot, you know? <laughs> so this is this is a throwback to those old, you know, good days, I guess you would say. Um, you know, for a small town, you know, shit doesn't really happen. When this uh, events ha start happening, it kind of shakes up the town's foundation. But for some reason, the only ones that know anything's going on is one of the cops, Winona Ryder, and the kids. It seems that everyone else is ignorant as fuck, except for fucking Mike's dad, which is pretty cool, because he don't give a fuck, you know? But anyways, now the kids are pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I could go over all the kids, but it's better if you guys watch it, you know? It's a pretty interesting show, uh, a lot of the paranormal stuff, but you will be having a lot of fucking character development. You will see that a lot throughout the show. Not much happens in every episode until the ends of both seasons, really. They follow the same formula. They also follow the same kind of, you know, there's one character who's not giving up on the kid, trying to save him, and stuff like that. Um, there's killings, yeah, there's some killings, but they kind of feel out of place. I don't know. I never felt the dread being there. I just like the nostalgia part and the fucking, them fucking being badass kids, you know, going out in the world and doing their own shit. Uh, girl with fucking psychic powers this is insane. You know, it's a crazy, it's a good show though. Overall, it's, I enjoyed watching the show. But, like I said, the dread never really felt there. I mean, yeah, these monsters, whatever, but, you know, I don't know. Something was off, man. I don't know what it was for me. But what would I give this show? It's a good show. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 for both seasons. You know, all together and mixed together, 8 out of 10. Of course, season 1 is still better than season 2. I admit that. Season 1 was way better than season 2. Not by a lot, but still better. It seems like season 2 just copied season 1. Copy and paste all over again. That's how I see it. But hey, if you guys like this review, hit that like, hit that sub. I'll catch you all next time.